beautiful Leo, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your bonus love reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everybody. So please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, uh, just be mindful there are lots of scammers about pretending to be me. I do not have WhatsApp, Telegram, uh, PayPal or Patreon. I do not take donations and I will never take your money. Not for readings, not for personal readings, not for competitions, nothing. Even if I bumped into you in the street and you said, hey, Bubba, can I have a personal reading? I'll say, sure. And I'll give it to you for free. Okay. So just to let you know, I will never take your money. I also do not have a personal assistant. I do not do meet and greet. Okay, um, and uh, yeah, just so you're aware, keep your money safe. Uh, also, I know nothing about cryptocurrency. I, I mean, I really wish I did, but I don't. Uh, so please be mindful. That is not something I endorse either. And they're using that on this channel too. So let's move forward, my beautiful Leo. This is a bonus reading. Uh, just a, I'm ahead of myself a little bit uh, this month. So I just thought I'd do you a, a little uh, extra love reading there, which... Um, it gives a chance for spirit to talk about whatever it is they wish to talk about. Okay, they want one more. Thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know regarding uh, their love relationships? We have true love. Beautiful. So we have true love here. We have it is safe for you to love. We also have you deserve love. Ain't that the truth, Leo? You have a lot of love to give there. Beautiful big heart. And we've got worth waiting for. Okay, divine timing is in order. Uh, it's at work in your love life. And also we've got you're a lovable. Okay, uh, open your heart to receive and uh, accept the highest love of all. And also this is the romance of a lifetime. So let's see what's coming on in there for you. I'm just going to get the overall energy. Um, I'm guided to do your reading in a bit of a different way, Leo. I'm going to do a Celtic cross for you just to see what's happening there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Thank you so much. We have the World Card. So indicates a new cycle for you, Leo. Perhaps you're leaving something behind. It could be that you're leaving singledom behind, but you definitely feel you've come as far as you can on the road that you're, are, you're on right now in terms of love, and you want to move forward. The Sun card, there you go. Uh, you've showed up in your own reading, um, like the VAP that you are, VIP that you are. Uh, I don't know what VAP is, uh, but anyway. Um, and we just get one more for the unified position. So with the Sun in that uh, position there, they're indicating that uh, you've waited a long time for love, or a love that is satisfying, a love that is true, a love that gives what you give, Leo, it's it's not often that you find someone that uh, shares their wonderful heart in the same way that you do. You have a certain um, special sort of energy that you bestow upon people, energy shine that is deep within, and you're very loyal to a T, okay? Um, now, it takes a lot for you to fall in love. I know a lot of people say, oh, Leo, they fall in and out of love. That is not the truth at all, okay? Uh, you fall deep when you're in love. And I feel also that strong passion, um, when it turns negative, for example, it takes a long time for you to get over, okay? So I feel I feel your pain there. So you may be trying to get over something um, or something, you know, someone kept you waiting in a relationship and you feel like... Um, You've had to move away from that, close that uh, energy down and decide to, you know, get closure yourself, which is often a painful uh, way to move forward. But there's completion here. Um, the unified energy indicates um, the magician card. So this is about manifesting something new, really focusing uh, your visions um, to magnify and m sort of magnetize love towards you. Uh, there's a lot of potential around you. I feel like you're gaining your confidence after a period of maybe feeling like you're powerless to change your situation. Perhaps you always felt like you gravitated towards people who seem to be emotionally unavailable, don't really think about planning for the future or don't look to the future um, and you may have felt uh, a little bit hopeless when it came to, to love there. Um, there also may have been something in the past that prolonged for a little while, like an unfinished business kind of relationship that I feel like you're finally thinking, I'm done. I can't do it no more. 
uh, you, you've come as far as you can, as I said, and you, you've hit a glass ceiling when it comes to that relationship. Uh, you will be very, very successful as you move forward into a new cycle. Um, but you may be thinking about moving, uh, relocating as well, uh, perhaps even uh, traveling to a new um, destination. I mean, you could be just thinking about t booking a vacation because you're like, damn, I need a holiday. I need to jet into the sun. OK, um, so you may be planning that in order to have something to look forward to. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know? What is the heart of the matter in this moment? What is the heart of the matter for my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know? The present. Eight of Air. Eight of Air in this particular deck is about um, a release from denial, seeing things as they truly are, okay? It was difficult to find any love in the first place, let alone during a pandemic, right? Uh, there's no need to be anxious or keep yourself in any anxiety. They're also indicating here about a self-imposed. Um, they're just giving me the word gridlock. So either you're currently in your car listening to this and you're actually gridlocked and you're sitting here going, come on already. Um, you know, you want to move forward, but I feel like it's gridlock in the mind that you, there's something here that you couldn't get past, but now you're really seeing what it truly is and you're releasing the illusion of it. Okay. I feel like uh, you, you're deciding to let go of anything that no longer um, serves you and uh, opening yourself up to something new, something more uh, loving. Uh, you don't want to be in your head. Analysis paralysis, you know. Um, now, I will clarify this card because I also get an energy here that there may be someone that you have your eye on. Uh, so uh, that's not going to be an energy for all. So let's see. Um, what is uh, the challenge in this situation? Two of air. Stalemate. Okay. Uncertainty. Now, this could be that either you're weighing up your options or you're feeling like your options are slim pickings right now, Leo. There's an energy here of having to make a compromise or make a decision. So whether that is to close something completely down with someone in the past, uh, you may be at a stalemate with somebody that you uh, ha have feelings for. Now, this could be someone in the past. It could be someone in the present that you've not really had anything with yet, but it feels like nothing's happening. The challenge here is... There's a no-go area, and you want to get past that. I will clarify. Let's clarify that energy right now. Okay? Thank you so much. They just give me the name Tessa. Tessa. So if your name is Tessa, there's something in this message for you. It could be a friend. It could be the partner that you separated from. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please clarify this two of air? Ace of Pentacles. Nobody's giving an offer, okay? It's a, there is somebody here who has feelings. Now, either you have feelings for somebody, Leo, or they have feelings for you, I feel like there's an offer coming on in here, okay? This is something solid and something true. Uh, I, I definitely feel that true love is really, this person's gone through dark night of the soul and they want to offer you something really um, that goes the distance. They want to take that walk of life with you, okay? They're all in in this relationship. Um, but it's it's at a, it's at a stalemate right now. Uh, can you please clarify this Eight of Swords? Eight of Air? Page of Pentacles. Ha! Huh? Maybe in your mind that nobody's making an offer. The Page of Pentacles in the reverse there indicates nobody, you know, no one's coming forward. There's a stubbornness here, okay? Now, this person may be a little bit younger than you, or um, I feel very much here. Um, it's just like, as you can see, the page, the page offers and news, Pages bring news, okay? But as you can see, it's in reverse. They're stalemate. Nothing's happening. So either you and this person are not talking, or you and this person have feelings for each other, and nobody's saying nothing. It's, it seems to like be gridlocks, as they, that's what they're giving me, showing me someone in a car. Uh, well, no, they're not showing me someone in a car. Uh, they're giving me the word gridlocked. Um, so, uh, but I feel like if you're in a car right now and you're gridlocked, then there's definitely something in this message for you. But if this is how you're feeling within your love life at this minute, you're feeling like, there's no offers. Either there's no offers completely and you don't know who would be here to give you an offer of love or there is someone that you have feelings for because the two of air indicates you've got options. you got to make a decision here. Maybe compromise. Whether it's with someone in the past or someone new here, let's uh, go forward and find out. Uh, now let's see what's below you, okay? Uh, what's carrying you through? King of Earth. King of Earth here. Now this is, uh, you know... What's carrying you through is you want someone who connects to you for the long haul. You may be focusing on your finances, being a bit of a boss, Leo, in terms of your career, uh, focusing on that money um, and being a really wise investor there. Maybe you're being, a, you know, an entrepreneur, setting up your own business or you're stepping into a leadership role at work there. I mean, 
Leo, I don't really want to say this, but I'm getting it like a secondary energy that maybe this person is your boss. Okay, I'm just going to pull a card on that. That's not going to be for everyone. Okay, that's just a little bit of something on the side that I'm getting there. Can you please clarify this energy about boss? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Nine of Swords in the reverse. Well, they're indicating here uh, that, you know, this is someone that you're not really talking to. Okay, Nine of Swords is... Um, It's almost like, when I get this card, sometimes there's a, like banter, like you and this person, um, how can I put that? Someone teases you, there's someone who teases you, Leo, and they, they, their feelings, it, the teasing covers the feelings. So maybe they, let me see what that is. Are you saying that about the boss? What's happening there? Two of, okay, okay, Woo. okay. So this person could be Taurus. Uh, or have tourist placements there, Leo. Um, this person, um, this could be someone, even though we got boss type energy, uh, I do have boss type energy coming through, um, but it could be that this person is stepping into a leadership role, may not be your boss. I just feel like someone is bossing up here, okay? Um, but what I'm getting with this uh, King of Earth, this is someone that you feel is the person to settle down with. Okay, what's carrying you through your deep rooted feelings, you want someone to invest fully in you. Uh, now, when I'm clarifying this card, I got someone that either um, is a little bit sharp with you pushes you away, uh, doesn't want to run away anymore, this person, uh, but they're not taking action. Okay, we got the two of uh, cups there, this could be someone that you've separated from. Okay, they're indicating uh, a separation here, arguments, perhaps, and uh, maybe an argument because you feel like this person's a player, or that they're in and out of your life, um, you want them to settle down. Uh, but you're deciding with the Eight of Cups there to walk away now because um, you, it's not emotionally fulfilling to chase after something that you feel doesn't want you. Now, what's really interesting is I'm just getting this energy that um, this person does want you. Um, you. Of course, never wait for anybody, Leo. Uh, but I feel like this person... As soon as you walk away, Leo, then this person's going to come running. That's the energy that I, I get here. Now, you don't want to play games with this person, of course. Um, okay, they just give me another name, Anton. Anton. So if your name is Anton or uh, this person's name that you're dealing with is called Anton, perhaps Anton is uh, the name of someone new who comes on in or perhaps it's a person's name who introduces you to somebody new. Please take it as it resonates. It's not going to resonate for everyone. I mean, it could be a place, a business, the name of where you live or something. Um, they've asked me, let me, thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. Um, what's this person's intentions? This is clearly someone that Leo has separated from. Okay. Oh, gosh. Well, here we go. Okay. It's quite a difficult dynamic here for you, Leo, so I'm feeling for you. Uh, what they're giving me here is um, the Two of Pentacles. This person, you may have felt like this person made you a choice at one point, Leo, but as you can see, it's in the reverse now. This person's not too timing or anything like that. This person, they did have a, an inability to commit there, but I feel like this person's wising up. They're wanting to, to commit now, okay? And uh, it's like you are now in de indecision, okay? There's choices there for you. Um, I feel like this person had commitment issues, and based on that, you're not sure. But deep down, I feel like this is uh, someone that you think is your soulmate, but you're wondering, should you stay, should you go? The lover's card indicates you're waiting for the one. And you're not sure anymore. The way that this person treated you, Leo, you're not sure if this person is the one. This is what you want. The fact that we got the world card as an overall energy, I feel like you're closing something down to the past and looking for something new. Um, I feel like you're looking for no less than a soulmate. Someone who invests in your future. This is the thing that is carrying you through. And the person from the past, I mean, they seem to be like... A difficult energy uh, it just seemed to be in and out or there was no commitment especially right at the end it's sort of um, but anyway let's see what's ahead well we will in a moment let's see what's because the next position is actually what's directly behind you okay Queen of Earth okay oh my gosh Leo look at that okay directly behind you you felt like this person was the one you felt like this is your soulmate. But now because of the the, um, the way that this person has treated the connection, um, you're, you're wondering whether you'll find someone who matches you again. Or um, you maybe, you know, you wanted to settle down here or you um, 
felt like you were building home here. I mean, you may have even had a child with this person, Leo, um, because this is a fertile kind of uh, card here, or perhaps you discussed um, having children and this person bolted, or, a, you know, there's an energy here of um, trying to stay cr practical um, and think about your home. Uh, there's something here about settling down, okay? Um, and you may have felt like this person was your, your ideal match. This is your soulmate. Um, now, there is a choice here, Leo, whether you want to heal this with this person or not. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, White Angels. And if you do not, there will be love that comes on in the future because I can feel the energy of it. Let's see what's above you, okay? The potential here. What is the potential for my beautiful Leo? We have the tower, a surprise, and we've got the eight of fire, surprise news. Okay, surprise news. So this is, uh, you will be hearing from this person, that is for sure. Um, now, uh, eight of fire, uh, if you've gone cold on this person or gone silent, Leo, this person's gonna come running, just to let you know. Um, and uh, they're gonna come to talk. The eight of wands, the eight of fire there, is about change. It's about um, action. This person's coming towards you at, and building momentum, okay? Uh, this is also uh, travel. So if you're looking for somebody new, you may meet someone out of the blue, when you're traveling, okay, or it's connected in some way to, to travel because we we're picking up on that energy earlier. But I feel like you're going to be hearing from this person, whoever that you may have separated from, I feel like you're going to be hearing from this person and they're going to tell you that they've changed. Thank you so much for it, guys. Great angels. What is in the near future? Oof. We got Queen of Water, Page of Fire, and we got Eight of Earth, okay? Now, it's interesting because these two cards, the Queen of Water is, uh, even though you're a fire element there, Leo, the Queen of Water is about um, nourishing self with love in this deck. It's about emotional security, okay? You're a healer. You, you have your wonderful light that shines there, Leo, and I feel like you offer your love and your light to a lot of people. But this person, whatever happened in the past, this person, um, you know, it's either a stalemate I feel like this person knows that you're the one and I feel like you deep down feel like this person's the one, but something's gotta change here. The world card indicates either it, you both are learning the lesson and you're entering a new cycle with each other and there's healing here, or it's an energy of you deciding to move forward. But because we have the eight of earth coupled with this card, it indicates here that this is you investing in self, okay? Uh, you are deciding to you know, nurture yourself and uh, you know, you're comfortable in your own skin. You don't need this person, Leo. You wanted this person. There is a difference, okay? And when you take back that power, stand in your, um, your power and have solid, uh, healthy boundaries there, strong self-esteem, I feel like this person is gonna come on in and talk to you, okay? But you may not want anything more to talk to them about uh, because we, uh, we got a page of fire there. Now, pages are often new energy. And I feel like you will be talking to somebody new if you want to be. This is Sagittarian energy. Now, this is, again, a card of travel. So they keep pointing to some sort of um, movement. Um, it could be a creative project that you're doing and you're actually having to travel out of your comfort zone or out of town or somewhere for this uh, thing here. Uh, but they're indicating someone very different to you, someone very um, original, uh, unique, is coming on in here um, and will meet your energy, Leo. I feel like this is a very passionate connection that's coming on in. Around about that full moon, that super moon, I feel like you have the potential to be talking to somebody new, okay? Um, and let, they want me to go again, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Uh, you have a lot of uh, messages coming on in, especially around about the uh, super moon. Uh, now, the super moon is in Scorpio, so that is an uncomfortable energy um, because it often means uh, people Anything you've been avoiding, it comes to the surface and you have to deal with it in order to process it and move forward. So this person from the past, I feel like they're gonna be really struck by this super moon and I feel like they're gonna recognize what they've got and what they haven't got. And I feel like they're gonna come running, okay? I'm gonna clarify some of this energy, of course. Uh, but we got the four of air, okay? They are indicating here with that four of air that you're healing from something um, in the past, something that, that uh, was very painful, so I feel like, uh, I gotta be honest, Leo, you can heal the relationship with the person in the past, but I feel like uh, you choose, this is the future position, you choose to be in a solitary energy, invest in yourself, um, and welcome in new passion. Um, now this could also be, uh, so I'm gonna clarify this energy, it could be that you get a passionate new message from the person in the past, so I'm just gonna clarify that. 
Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know regarding this page of fire? What do they need to know about the page of fire? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to see? Thank you so much. Okay, you're walking away. I mean, you're getting the same cards there, Leo. You're walking away with that eight of... Uh, Cups there, you're walking away from anything that is not emotionally fulfilling. So if this person from the past does not step up to the plate, you're gone. The Two of Pentacles indicates you don't have a choice because they left you no choice. They left you in stalemate energy, okay? Um, also, can we please clarify this Queen of Water? Thank you so much. Uh, you're de-stressing, as you can see, the Ten of Wands in the reverse. You're opening yourself up uh, and finally putting yourself first. Okay, um, there's the freedom to say no to this thing in the past. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. And the Eight of Pentacles with, okay. And uh, the Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Fire, I was going to say. And we've got uh, the King of Swords here. So that indicates you will be talking to somebody. Um, and we got the Five of Cups in the reverse. Now this indicates um, a return, okay? A return of hope uh, in a relationship. Um, and the King of Swords, Gemini energy here, um, also with some Scorpio, uh, Cancer, Pisces there as well. Uh, but what I, I'm getting here is this person's coming to talk. So if someone coming to tell you the truth of a situation, this person, I feel like they, this person, they really um, speak their emotions. Okay, this person's quite a logical person. Okay, it's almost like you bring the passion to this relationship in the past. Leo and this other person uh, brings uh, it, it leads with their intellect not that you're not intellectual I feel like you're very intellectual but I feel like you will be having a conversation with this person um, and you before I feel like you used to like wear your heart in your sleeve with this person and um, you know just show your love because you're not there to wear a mask you lead with authenticity but I feel like uh, this time you're gonna be a bit more um, logical okay i feel like you're going to be thinking before you act with this person but they're coming to talk okay um oh got a lot of energy joining they want me to go to this deck for some reason uh i feel like they want me to clarify new ten of swords yeah there's a new start here um separating from someone in the past so uh, after basically they're saying after the separation there is new so don't 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 worry about that spirits guiding you to somebody new if you wish to be in a new relationship um, with somebody so let's continue with this uh, Celtic cross um, what is in what is in Leo's mind right now what do they tell themselves what the what is their advice to self thank you so much spirit guys go angels can you please go whoa which one do you want okay thank you so much uh, they want that one just gonna pop this they want that one uncovered there. They want this one here and this one here. Uh, we got this, the King of Fire, okay? King of Fire, Leo, uh, is an energy of um, being an influencer kind of energy, uh, influencing with the heart. You want someone who touches your heart. You want someone who matches your passion. You just want someone who gives you their heart as much as you give them your heart, okay? Now, this is Aries energy here. This is about courage. This is about wisdom. You know, I feel like you have a lot to offer, Leo. You got so much to offer, so much passion, um, so much loyalty, um, and I feel like you just need to meet the right person who gives you the same in return. And I feel like that's what you're basically telling yourself right now. I'm not gonna settle for anyone who does not give me their heart fully. Not I, you, I just get this energy. You don't want to gravitate towards people who are emotionally uh, disconnected or unavailable. You just want you just want passion. You want you want it all. I mean, why not? You can have it all. Now, the environment. What is the environment? The external circumstances. The six of water. This is a return card. That's the six of cups, Leo. So definitely, someone is returning from your past. I mean, this doesn't have to be an ex lover. Just to let you know. It can be a friend that you had feelings for many years ago and you did not uh, have a relationship with this person, but there was always some sort of passion there. Uh, they just said you just want true love and they're highlighting this card. You just want true love, okay? And that is available to you, Leo, just to let you know. Uh, but the Six of Water, back to that. Um, what they're indicating here, um, so they're just showing me, uh, oh, they're just showing me a piece of bread, but it's got some sort of seeds in it. Uh, it's like, I don't know, pumpernickel seeds and 
I mean, I don't know what the seeds are really, but I'm just guessing. Um, so either you're having some sort of special, well, seeded bread, okay? If that's you, there's something in this message for you. It's not going to speak to everybody, uh, of course. Uh, if uh, Spirit gives me anything, I'll give it to you. But if it does not connect to you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means they want that person to pay close attention to the reading at that moment. Uh, but the Six of Water indicates the circumstances are ripe for uh, someone returning, okay? Now, I do get an energy of someone that you were romantically linked to, uh, returning from your past here with this water card. Uh, six of water indicates this person, they wanna be in your arms again. This person has got rose-tinted glasses as well. They're remembering the good old days. Uh, Leo, uh, that's wonderful to remember the good old days, but also remember the bad old days too, just so you get a balanced kind of feel of how it used to be. Of course, people change. Um, but I feel like this person is longing for you. And I feel like also this person uh, from the past is trying to manifest you back into their world. Now, what is your hopes and fears? Seven of Earth. Seven of Earth is, is this saveable? Can we make this work? Okay. Uh, also, it's about you wanting to find a relationship that you invest in fully and that they invest fully in you. Uh, because you've started to notice that you put your wonderful heart, soul and everything into a relationship, Leo, and you're not getting the same energy out. It's almost like looking at your investment. It's almost like looking at your love in terms of investment. The amount of uh, energy or investment you put into it, are you getting the same out, okay? So yes, you know that if you uh, decide to go back and reunite with a person from the past, because we do have a, a, a match there, of course, uh, if you want, if you feel like this person is the one for you, um, you're wondering um, if with patience and hard work, you both can overcome the obstacles and be together, or you're, you're, you're afraid that, you know, this person may stall on you. They may walk away. Um, this, this energy, the, the fear here is that the person you were dealing with often does not invest in the connection. You may feel like it was one-sided. Um, you don't want to be in a relationship where you feel like you're doing all the, the heavy legwork, okay? I mean, that's an obvious thing to say, but that's what they're giving me with that card. Thank you so much. Whoa. Okay, so what is in uh, the future for you? What is the outcome? Oh my gosh. This is, I mean, this is unheard of, Leo. I don't think I've ever had a position like this where, like I shuffle this deck uh, many, many times a day, okay? These cards being back to back together, unheard of. You got the 10 of water and the nine of water. Now the 10 of water, everybody wants the 10 of water, of course. That is peace, serenity, good fortune, so much love. And well-being okay and there's so much love here love and contentment this is the total love and support of somebody who wants to go the distance with you and you know wants to grow old and fat with you okay maybe not fat if that's not the way you want to go but it's that energy of you know they want the good life with you so that is you calling in um, a happy relationship no matter what you decide whether you go for new or whether you go for the past person there is love and a lot of it for you Leo but my favorite card um, is the nine of water, okay? It's about wish fulfillment. Whatever your desire is, whatever your wish is, you're going to achieve it, okay? This is about the achievement of desire. So whatever you're asking for, be mindful, be careful what you're wishing for there, Leo, because you're about to get it, okay? Um, this is about your dreams coming true. So whoever you're longing for, whether it is someone new or whether it is someone uh, from the past, um, then you know, they're sh it's showing up that way. That you're going to get what you want. Now, let me just clarify this energy for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please clarify? Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Uh, can you please... Oh, that was like a bounce back. I don't know if you caught that. We got the tower again, and we got the, the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So the tower indicates, you know, surprise, of course. Um, now, I would say that... Uh, a lot of tower moments, they're just surprises, something that you were not expecting. But I feel like this is a relationship that really brought you to your knees. I feel like there was a shock there. Um, now, there's a shock separation is what they're giving me here. So um, I feel like it's been a bit of painful energy. So I'm sending you out a lot of love there. The Ten of Pentacles uh, indicates that there's some sort of, uh, there could be some sort of family interference on uh, in, involved in some way with this relationship maybe the one from the past or maybe since you've uh, broken up with someone um your family keep intervening and saying when are you going to get somebody new and you're like can you can you stop can you stop because i'm you know i'm trying to grieve some other relationship um thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful leo 
Okay, they are indicating that um, there is a stuck energy. The death card in reverse indicates uh, inertia, a hope destroyed there, stagnation because of some sort of shock, separation. So um, this could be recent or it could be, you know, it was a relationship that brought you to your knees. I feel like you're going to get an opportunity to talk to this person again. Um, oh, you got the Empress card. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know? Two of Pentacles. You do have a choice. The Empress card indicates a lot of potential here. Uh, now, this is going to be for a small select few. Um, they're indicating here that perhaps um, you were with somebody and you got pregnant and then they shocked you and left. Or um, they're indicating that uh, you got a couple of choices here. Okay, it could have been because of a third party situation. That's not going to speak to everybody uh, there. This person is very immature, okay? Um, and uh, they may come in and out of your life uh, occasionally. Um, just be mindful of that energy. Let's, let's go again. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Hierophant. I mean, at every turn, at every turn, Leo, they're showing me about this separation, okay? Um, can you please... Okay, you keep talking about this separation, how shocking it was. Can you please uh, indicate whether uh, Leo will be... Um, does Leo want to reunite with this person? Can you please? Thank you so much. Um, what I'm getting from this, the Knight of Swords, you want this person to stop running away or you're quitting this, uh, you're done, okay? Uh, we got the, the Knight of Swords... You know, you just want this person to, it's not like you want to change them, but you want to stop, the, you, you wish they would just stop running away from the connection here. And the Seven of Wands indicates, uh, you know, uh, you're thinking about walking away from this yourself because this person keeps pushing you away, running away. Tell me about New before we move forward. Tell me about New. Can you tell me about New? Thank you so much for it, guys. Whoa. King of Swords in the reverse and the King of Cups. So they are indicating here that there's someone, uh, there's a choice, basically. Male or female, not a gender-specific reading, even though they're kings here. Um, uh, there's an energy here of um, someone you're not talking to, okay? Um, I feel like you don't trust this person, okay? And we've also got the King of um, Cups there. That indicates there is a loving, supportive, uh, kind person uh, coming on in here for you um, in terms of love, should you wish to be with that person, um, you, you definitely have a choice. Let me just, thank you so much for it, guys, great angels. Whoa, okay. They are really, give, they're really honing this down, okay? So the, the, what we got here, oh my gosh, really? How would you like to receive? How would you like to receive? Okay. Okay, they're just kind of indicating that it is up to you. Uh, the King of Swords here um, is someone that is returning from your past. This could be Gemini energy. Uh, we got Six of Cups again, so they're indicating with that Six of Cups there. Justice, this person's going to receive some sort of karma. They're going to, they, they want to find a solution. They want to come back. The Emperor indicates they're still in immature energy. They're still not ready to go the distance. I mean, they're thinking about it. They want to offer you love. They, they, they're going to come in and talk to you. Um, but in terms of um, being the, the emperor position, they're indicating that this person's just not thinking for the long term just yet. They may just want a conversation. Now, we do have the two of um, cups here. And I thought it, they'd want it with this card here, king of water, the king of cups there. But no, they want it as a presiding energy because... There will be relationship. There will be love here for you. It depends on who you choose. Okay. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Anything further uh, for this King of Cups, perhaps, or this Two of Cups? Oh my God, you got you're getting the same cards. Yeah, same cards. Okay. Uh, so we got the Two of uh, Pentacles here in the reverse. You have no choice but to release the burden to the past and accept somebody new. Okay, uh, that's that's the energy that I'm feeling that you, you're feeling right now. You feel like there's no other choice because you're at a stalemate with somebody. You feel like there's no other choice but to manifest new. There, if you want to heal the one with the person in the past, of course it can. you can do that. 
okay? But there's some obstacles to overcome. But they're indicating if you do not wish to be with that person from the past, there is new, okay? Um, that's very complex, very complex energy. Uh, now, just before I move forward, they're giving me read as a name. Read, okay? So, um, read. If your name is Reed, or maybe it's a nickname, please take it as it resonates. It could be your person's surname. Whoa. Uh, please take it as it resonates. We've got dreams. Thank you so much. I'm sure grateful for the messages so far. Uh, we've got nature and we've got playfulness. Okay. Dreams. Nature. And playfulness. There's definitely a transformation here. And you can see that, that figure. She's sitting on a mushroom. Mushrooms often grow in dark dark conditions okay so this may be about growth finding that playfulness within yourself again leo um also pay close attention to your dreams they're indicating there is a, a, like a it's almost like you're going to have a deja vu moment after the dream so just pay close attention thank you so much spirit guys great angels uh can you please guide my beautiful leo Um, so they're just, before I read this card, they're just giving me a Sinatra. They didn't say Frank Sinatra, but they, they said Sinatra and then, and then they're playing me, uh, fly me to the moon. Uh, I don't know the lyrics of that, uh, offhand, uh, fly me to the moon. Uh, could you please? It's like, come fly with me, take my hand. The part that they're playing me is, um, come fly with me, take my hand. I can't get it. I can't get it. I can't get the lyrics. So I'm going to have to look it up. Um, so maybe you've just been listening to that, that song. Maybe it came on the radio or that's the song you've been talking about in the last day or so. I mean, if you heard that song like a year ago, this is not the connection. Okay. It is something that's more relevant to now. Um, and we have a change in the wind. Okay, a change in the wind. Now I'll read uh, from the book here. It's number 12. Number 12 is a hangman energy. So waiting around, uh, gaining wisdom in a situation. Um, and as you can see, all everything is being blown away there. Okay, only what is sturdy remains. So let's read from the book. I don't want to tell you anything wrong. Number 12. They're saying read again. Read. So, but they're giving it to me as a name. They're not instructing me to read. Uh, now, they're also showing me a hot water bottle. So either you've just gone, as you're listening to this reading, to go you get yourself a hot water bottle because maybe you're feeling cold or you've got, um, I don't know, to, this for, for, just to cozy up to. They're just giving me this like comfort kind of energy. Um, so if that's you, there's something in this message for you. It's not going to speak to everyone, of course. A sense that an unseen change has been initiated. Preparation for a storm. Awareness that the plans are not on solid ground. A shift in direction as the winds blow. Okay, the relationship message here is... Relationships go through periods where partners seem out of sync with each other. And stormy emotions and moods threaten to take down the ship. Perhaps someone has a change of heart and leaves. These rough seas offer opportunities for mutual growth a way for you to understand your own heart better and to know that what you need is to be truly happy. Rest assured that whatever is happening now, good will come from it. Take temporary shelter and remove yourself from the drama. The air will clear and everything will be fresh and new again. This too shall pass. Leo, that, that card's quite apt for the reading, okay? So uh, they are indicating that, I mean, let it go, let it flow. If this person is meant for you, the one from the past, or the person you separated from, or you're fretting over, um, if they're meant for you, they will absolutely stay by your side. Nothing gets in the way of love in the long run, just to let you know. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, for your angels. Can you please? Thank you so much. Oh, wow, we got quite a lot. Okay, so we have the tree of life, but it's also growth. You've been waiting a long time. So there's definitely growth here. And I feel like, um, oh, they just said branching out, branching out. So either you're going to be doing something new, completely new that you've not been doing before. And it puts you in the position to meet somebody new, branching out. 
Uh, please take it as it resonates. Uh, they want it on the Nine of Water, branching out. That's the Wishes Coming True card. Okay. Uh, we also have a key there with a heart on it. So um, you will be... Uh, there's no secret to love. Uh, it just happens uh, because they just said unlocking the secret to love. But uh, so maybe someone out there... Oh, we just got a bit of energy joining on the candle. Uh, perhaps someone out there just said that, unlocking the key to love. Um, the key to unlocking love, rather. Uh, I feel um, that divine timing is in order here, but you will be unlocking your heart to somebody, okay? Um, there is definitely an energy here of you finding the right love that is meant for you. They also want that on the Nine of Water. Okay, we also have a cat there. Beautiful. I close my eyes when I pick these trinkets, Leo, so I love that a cat has come up for you. Um, independent, independent spirit, okay? Cats, I love cats. Why? Because, um, no, I love all animals, but cats... They love themselves first, okay? That is not a selfish act. It's because they respect themselves first and only then can they respect others. They, you know, they love themselves first, take care of their needs, and then they come to the person, another person that they love, and then they offer love there, okay? That is the way forward for you, okay? Also, um, when you get the cat, they want it on the nine of water. Do all of them go on the nine of water? Um, also, when I get a cat, uh, this is about luck being on your side, uh, luck changing. And we also have an angel, okay? A beautiful angel there. So you're being protected and guided at this time. Now, they want me to turn it over. Yeah, oh gosh. Yeah, it says uh, made for an angel. Made for an angel. So remember, Leo, you are an earth angel, okay? Male or female, you got a beautiful heart. You're an earth angel. And you deserve someone who is one of those back, okay? Um... Someone who takes care. Oh, wonderful. They said, yeah, put it on the two of cups. So there we go. Two of cups. There will be love. Your guides are directing you to the right love for you. Okay. Intuitively, you will feel it. If the person from the past comes in and shows you, not tells you, because actions speak louder than words. Okay. Um, shows you that they mean business and they want to settle down with you. Of course, you know your heart. Follow your intuition. But if that's not working, you feel like this person's not investing, there is new to come for you, okay? Okay, my beautiful Leo, I will leave that there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell. That lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, um, in the next couple of days, I'll be uploading another video for you and give uh, one lucky subscriber an opportunity to win a personal reading, okay? So uh, look out for that in the next couple of days. Thank you so much, my beautiful Leo. Love and light.